well. I'm Rick. He falls on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Come on, juicy content. It's a Patreon. Follow Twitter account. We're about to get you. Bang! Eat it. Follow us on person. You just dance. That's right. Did you watch anything? Uh, a really good series from France. Oh, it's nice. a couple years old called Marianne. Okay. It's that's a, what we're it's a scary, scary series. That's what we're reviewing. Uh, one moment of occultic stuff that we fast forwarded through because I don't want to see people using Ouija boards. But other than that, it was really, really good. So, bye everybody. That was that's all we review. wanted to say today. <laughs> Go watch Marianne on Netflix. <laughs> we watched something that uh, you guys wanted us to watch. It's so funny. Somebody on like everything right now. I'm sure you've seen whoever it is that's doing this. It's like this is my third request. Yeah. And I just throw my head back and ha 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 ha. Because those of you've been around a while, you throw your head back and laugh yeah. too. <laughs> I mean, we get to quite a few, but yes, this one we has do. been uh, requested. Uh, for... Almost as long as Bahubali 2 was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, this is uh, one of the most unknown films in Bollywood history. Very few people know about this film. Yes. Uh, uh, especially the music. Yeah, songs and there's and the stars. Not the very, not very unknown, many people in it. Unknown people and unknown director. Uh, it, it flew under the radar in the big a big festival circuit. A lot of years. Uh, well, hopefully, this review will bring greater attention to it. We watch Gaither G or Kabi Kabi. Kabi Kushi Kabi Kum. Is that nice. good? That's, That's the only good. reason I know how to say that. <laughs> it's because of now Lara G. Because she sang it a bunch. Which, she sang it. as far as the title's concerned, it's a weird title. Why? Well, because it means, this isn't going to be exact, I forgot the exact thing, but it's like sometimes things are happy, sometimes things are sad. Yeah. And I guess it's true, because sometimes things are happy, sometimes things are sad in the movie, but yeah. I think there could have been a better title for it. I like K3G. It, I actually started looking for K3G and couldn't find K3G. Because <laughs> I was looking for just K3G. That's how stupid I was. Anyways, but it's Movie directed and written by Karan Johar. Uh, produced by Yash Jor Johar. Yash Johar. Yeah. I was going to say Chopra, but it's it's a different one. Uh, I think, I'm guessing that's his father? I can't imagine it's not. Um, nepotism? I'm surprised. <laughs> so, you know, if I had known that before, I probably wouldn't have watched it. Anyways, starring a few people. Amitak Bakchan, Jaya Bakchan, Shah Rukh Khan, Kajol, Rithik Roshan, Karina Kapoor. Ronnie McCurgy. Uh, Ronnie McCurgy, uh, Johnny Lever, and then a whole bunch of other cast as well. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be a spoiler review because uh, I think you've all seen it. I think. I think. And if you haven't. If you have four hours, go watch it. Come back real quick. Real quick. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. The greatest movie ever made. <sighs> Bar none. Just kidding. Um, actually, didn't dislike it as I thought I might, based mm. on what people had, had said. It mm. actually had, there were a couple of, like, touching moments. I was never invested in any of the characters to the extent that I cared enough mm. to, but, like, there were some really nice emotional availability things from everybody in the cast. I made myself appreciate how awful things were. Mm. Some of it we knew in advance. Yeah. Uh, I like DDLJ better. Mm. Uh, I wouldn't watch it again. Mm. But I thought you liked Cooch Cooch better than DDLJ. Uh, yes, and I, I like that even better than that. Yeah. So to all that to say, this wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be going in. Yeah. So that was nice, and but man, is it long? Oh yeah, it's definitely long. Oh, <laughs> it's it's a long drive home. You know what this movie's like? It's like driving from San Antonio to El Paso. Yeah. It's really, really long. Really, really long, and there's not much to look at. Yeah, but you're glad you made the trip because you have somewhere you want to get. I disagree. I really enjoyed this film. Good for you. Yeah. No, uh, more than I enjoyed DDLJ. And really? Cooper, okay. I want to know why. Um. What? One, I was expecting, like you, way worse. 
way worse. Right, and I, oh, and I have something else I want to say about the Indian element, which we'll yeah. get to, um, and how important that is. Basically, um, I was expecting all the worst cringe parts of DDLJ and 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 Kuch Kuch Hota Hai throughout this film. I was expecting it to be the poo sequences that we yeah. saw and the yeah. hey bomb take a chill pill yeah. all the way yeah. through and it wasn't it was so maybe it was just my expectations were insanely low uh but it was yes 100 percent. it's way too long it's, it's yeah it's it's way too long no it's i'm like not going, gonna it's like going to get a cleaning and it turning into a root canal <laughs> yes way too long way too long um but uh overall i i i think it was less cringy than, than yeah uh Kuch Kuch Alta and ddlj and and so then also I, I ended up, I actually did. I I don't know maybe if I didn't care for the character more. I've, I'm, I'm in love with all these actors. That's that's the point I want to make. That, that might be the, the like, because here's the thing. Okay, we'll get into this now. I, I enjoyed this film, right? Um, Kajol, right? Love Kajol. Um, she had a bunch of way over the top moments in this. Yeah, she was, Some, she was yeah. smoking cocaine. Yeah. yeah. Somebody, at, like, one of the group, because they knew I was watching it, and they were like, uh, "How do you, what do you think of Kajol? I'm like, I love her too much to care. Right. Honestly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like, I see it. I see what you're talking about. And, like, there was there was a lot of times where, you know, she was just, like, kind of the bubbly at the beginning of Coach Coach Altai a lot of times. Not all the times. Like, I think every single actor in this had moments of like over the top, correct. Even Big B, yeah, shocker. Yeah. Um, except for Jai Bakshan, uh, I thought Jai was. Yeah, I, I agree. thought Jai. Was she was probably grounded the whole phenomenal. time through. Yeah, the entire time. Um, and so overall, I think it's just it's one of those. And even though I watched it in three parts, mm -hmm. so I was like, "There's no way I'm going to." Yeah, I did not watch it in one sitting. There's no way I'm going to sit no. down and watch a three and a half hour film. Um, one that some of that is Leland was asleep, and I could have probably watched it maybe in two, um, but I, I I I pushed it out to three. But it's one of those that's I, I enjoyed the story uh, in terms of like the watching these characters, obviously amazing songs that we reacted to every single one of them, um, and there was some really touching moments uh, throughout. Even though I, I, I questioned Big B's parenting methods quite a bit. And his husbandry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, overall, I think a lot, I enjoyed all the songs except for the, that one that was when you, Rithik and Pooh were introduced to each other in that song. Mm -hmm. And we were like, I, not, I wasn't really feeling that thing when we reacted to it. Right. I still wasn't really feeling that song Me in too. it. I enjoyed You Are My Sonia way more in the context of the film. I did too. Even though it still makes no sense, obviously, there's big club number. I know. <laughs> but, you know, that's what this film was. And yeah. so it was, I think it was just a, a fun, entertaining, enjoyable film that is way too long. Yeah, and I, I have, there's two elements of it. First of all, uh, the enjoyability factor, and you mentioned it a second ago, for, yeah. for I think everybody is knowing and, okay, Ronnie McCurdy, all, all of these actors, I was gonna go down the list of them, but we just did that. We deeply care about and love these actors yeah. as artists and people. We've, we've become really attached to them and care about them. So seeing them interacting and doing what they're doing, it has a level of enjoyability for us because we know them and have seen their work and we care about them. Mm -hmm. I think for someone who doesn't know these people from Adam, I believe if an American, for example, saw this as their first Indian film, it would reaffirm everything they've ever thought about Bollywood yeah. and they wouldn't want to watch another Indian it's film. probably the most Indian film. And that's the other aspect yeah. is, but this is something I love about it that I think if someone went in to see it, I would encourage them to get to know these people first, mm -hmm. get to know the style. I'm glad of we film. waited. Oh, I'm, I'm, me too, stupid babies. Thank you I'm, for taking us and guiding us because we needed to wait to see this. But the other, the other yeah. element is, this is such an Indian film in terms of what family means yeah. to them. How and parents are, how much how parents respect are. they have for the parents. And yeah. the living together aspect mm -hmm. of family. Yeah. That sense of, and I'm actually, it's funny, I'm really starting to see and embrace this because I'm, I don't, you guys may not know this, but I, I have been since June, I'm actually, not only my mom reconnected relationally, but I'm actually living with my mom right now. Mm -hmm. And that has been a blessing because I haven't lived with either of my parents 
my entire adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, and this was something we intentionally did for a lot of reasons, not the least of which being the, the connection. And when they mention, there's a moment where uh, SRK is talking to Kajol and saying, both of them are saying, missing the warmth of an elder. I think Rithik says it too, in the home. And that's not an American value no. uh -huh. at all. Uh -huh. Not and it's sad because I, I personally think unless it's, it's a great value. Unless it's like a, a Mexican-American family. Right, from done, another culture. Yeah, from another culture. But like, the, like my, my mom and her husband Dale, they went away for the weekend and I was there by myself and I actually missed the presence of having them in the place. And I absolutely can see that moment when Letterman asked Ashwari Rai, wow, you live with your mother-in-law? And she was like, yeah. And that is, I think, something for Indians, especially, this touches a place that's so deep and important and personal for them that if somebody didn't even know that, like, the, the, I would never in a million years suggest this to someone who doesn't know India culture. If they're not already invested in Bollywood, yeah. Yeah, or, and, and Indian culture, to yeah. know the depth of what it means to live with family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this one is, like I said, uh, I would I would actually watch this again, like, if it was on. <laughs> not, not, I don't think... May, I might be able to get full through if it's just on in the background. If it was on, I would absolutely watch it. I wouldn't go out of my way to watch yeah. it, and I wouldn't recommend it yeah. to anybody. Um, oh, like I said, unless they're already invested in Indian culture. Um, like, you know how I've introduced Zach to a bunch of stuff. I, one, I think he could probably appreciate this even more than we could, because he tolerated Twilight back in the day. Oh, <laughs> so. he, he, prop, he can tolerate. He can tolerate. He can tolerate. <laughs> Elmer Fudd is him. He, he is, can... He he can he has now admitted, he was like, I was in love with a girl who loved Twilight. <laughs> so, he, could watch, he could watch Boyhood. But uh, yeah, for most, for the most part, I would make sure that they're already invested. And then one, this is a huge part of Bollywood history. Massive. Is, if you love the, the people, you, you probably like the film, not really their performances for the most part, even though uh, we'll talk about their performances. Well, not, I love Kajol. This is probably her, she was so endearing the entire time to me. I don't know if it was the lighting, the makeup, or what. She just looked, she won, it looked incredible. But let's add a controversy to this. Mm. I was talking to Indrani about this. Okay. Because I said to her, and some of you may disagree, and you may disagree. Mm. So this is the, at least the second film we've seen where SRK has had no interest in Rani Mukherjee <laughs> and preferred Kajal. Now, I love Kajal. Also, they all have like the same name. She's, in I know, she's adorable. I think she's wonderful. That's not an easy thing to do. But Ronnie McCurdy is not just a throwaway. That is like, you like me and I'm, I'm just not that interested in you. Well, it's really hard to believe that someone would look at Ronnie McCurdy and go, eh. I don't think he did that. I think he's just, I love Kajol. And also they have like a shit ton of films together where they actually get together. And that's what I want to see. <laughs> I want to see one of those. Uh, Veers are. I don't know if they get together, but I know they're in that one. Yeah. But Kajol, um, you know, she had her big bubbly moments, just like she did in Coach Coach Um, But there was moments, the most emotional moments I felt were with her. Um, obviously, I never cried. I do have a favorite moment, though. Um, That's, it's not her, though. It's not her. Yeah, no, I'll tell you in a second. When both moments, because obviously she deeply cared about getting the Father's Blessing. And so both, oh, yeah. both times when it was in the mall... And at the very end, when she was actually finally able to take the blessing from Big B. Right, right, right. <laughs> Even though she shouldn't have, because he was a dick. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that. Um, but it was, I, I thought that was probably the, one of the best moments of the film. I, I really enjoyed it. I appreciated everybody's, that. everyone's emotional availability was believable. That was the most shocking thing for me. For something I thought was going to be cheesy and stupid throughout. Shocker. I was surprised. Who had some good scenes? Yeah, I was surprised. <laughs> Everybody was believable with their emotion. I didn't see forced crying. There was one moment of, like, for many of them, pouring tears and oh, yeah. snot. Yeah. And my favorite moment, I really enjoyed it. I like the way um, Karan Johar shot it, was the moment with Big B and SRK just profile with each other. When he mm -hmm. finally gives in and he says, but you don't love me. He says, how... You should know better than to know that because yeah, I said the that. The gaslighting moment. The gaslighting yeah. moment. <laughs> and but I love that moment because they were both. That was a great. There. It was a great scene. It was. I talked about it. Well, to, Big B. I thought he did a good job at making one a, a either lovable slash 
by his actions, hateable character. Big B does whatever he yeah, to do. Yeah, but he even had some moments. I, I'm pretty sure it's because of Kieran Johar, what he wanted from him, and because that's just his style. But <laughs> yeah, he, some he thunder. Yeah, whatever there was. And but he didn't use music for accent. He used God and nature. <laughs> 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 he even had some over-the-top moments. Very few, but he had some over-the-top moments. But that scene with him and SRK at the end, he showed why he is one of the uh, legend. He, yeah, he, he scene. knocked that scene out of the park. Great and so scene. did SRK. I thought SRK did a he really did a good job, job in that scene as well. SRK, I thought, was actually more subdued in this one for the most part than the for other the most two. Part. For the most part. For the most part. It's still a Kieran Johar, almost 90s Shamu Khan. Yeah, it's weird. Because I would say, if someone asked, what do you think is the weirder of the... of the, of the the I'm keep going back to DDLJ and and this, right? Uh, without Kuch Kuch. That, that's, that's also there. But of those two... I thought K3G was going to be the weirder of them. And I actually think DDLJ is the weirder. Yeah, in terms of his performance yes, especially. But I, I actually like the, yeah, like the weirdness of that and Solomon Khan going, hey, great basketball. I, that stuff for me, I enjoyed that quirky weirdness. I, it's not that I disliked. That was Cooch Cooch. That was Cooch Cooch. Am I missing them all up? Mm -hmm. Oh, anyway. This one, I didn't dislike this one, but it was a one and done for me. It was one oh, of I those get it. where I'm glad I saw it. It's one of those things where, like I said, I, I see why Indians love this film. I absolutely I can also do. see why some Indians hate this film. Sure. Because it's, it's a very polarizing film. Yep. If, you, if you're not either in the mood, if you don't like these people, if, yep. you, if you don't like this style, if you can't appreciate it. If you can't handle the yeah. simultaneous talking and yeah. the... The quintessential for me is the mom, take a cupid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Pooh, though. I loved Pooh. Uh, I loved to, well, obviously, we saw her big, quirkiest moment, I feel like, in the introduction scene. Yeah. That was, but she surprised me often in terms Especially of. Especially toward the end. Like, w w her scenes with Rithik, she. Obviously, we've seen her well, before, she's and she's a good, a good actor. actor. Yeah. But that's not, I wasn't expecting it from Pooh. Because right. I was like, oh, I've been told I this. You're was... not ready for Pooh. Right. I thought Pooh was just going to be ridiculous throughout. Yeah. And she wasn't. No. I thought she did, like, the, this film, it could have almost been two parts. The quirky parts and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the, really could have. <laughs> and still been a long now, film for each. Here's here's something like that I just... This doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. So, did they not care? Did they not think about the fact that the kid who's gonna play Rithik <laughs> when he was younger should have green eyes. Did that not occur <laughs> to anybody out there? Hello? Also the fact that uh, it was a 10 year span and Rithik now looks 30. 30 <laughs> and everyone else hasn't aged. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things you just, <laughs> kind of like, you know, in Cooch Cooch where you just accepted it because it's, it's Kieran Johar. Like, they look the exact same like they were in high school, and then they, when they're older, they look the exact that same. <laughs> um, and then the uh, some of the other fun moments. Um, one, Rithik, always off to the side, crying. Uh, <laughs> like, there's if there was a scene, Shah Rukh and Kajol or something, Rithik would come from the behind. Uh, behind. He was crying. And crying and looking. <laughs> crying and looking. And then those moments of, yes, we should talk to Father. We should talk to Father. <laughs> SRK looks at him. You should talk to your father. <laughs> Wonder why he made that face. <laughs> I loved it. It was so it was so weird and in, in, endearing. Um, but yeah, that my, one of my favorite lines. I think I, I texted it to you. It was towards oh, the Oh yeah, 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 I loved it. You did. Shah Rukh Khan's he's he comes from behind us, oh, yeah. and he says, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna take over your sweet meat shop." <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a text of that screenshot, and he said, "This is getting spicy." <laughs> Oh, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, who, who didn't I talk about here? Oh, uh, I want to talk about Jaya Bakshan. She was, I think, the strongest actor in the entire thing. I would agree with you. Uh, she never had any moments like the, the rest of them. In terms no, it really of felt like she... Over the top. It felt like she approached this like a, like a thespian addict, legit, grounded character. But also, she didn't have the same things written for her that some of the other actors That's did. That's true. So her I mean, moments she were was, pretty much... She was kind of the heart of the film. Yeah. Obviously, Big B... <laughs> let's talk about that. Uh, Big B, you know, being the asshole that he is, you know, sending his kid off, telling, you, I don't love you, you're not my child, you're adopted, go away. Right. And then, ten years later, saying... Why did you believe that? Yeah. Why, like, why did you should know why better you than to back? believe that? And, and Where have you been? It's your. Why didn't you? It's your fault. And Charles Khan's like, it, you're right. You're it's right, my Dad. fault. <laughs> Don't gaslight your children. <laughs> it's a hundred percent your fault, Big B. Also, great scene. Jai Bakchan calling him out. Yeah. When she was like, when you she, were wrong. And then she was like, 
I, and I, I said, said it, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> I love that moment. <laughs> Great moment uh, making uh, Big B eat his own words. But yeah, yeah the, the whole gaslighting part was like, what? No. So how, what are you what are you even saying right now? That's hundred percent your fault, right? <laughs> you idiot. Yeah. Um, but it obviously, I think one of the other reasons Indians can relate to this, I feel like a lot of people are like, yeah, that's dads are kind of absolutely uh, not exactly like that, but they're like that style. They're very oh, I can't tough punishment kind of, and I can't I can't imagine how many Indians have faced so many of these. They can empathize with so many things in this from. Uh, a parent's disowning you because you're making choices that don't align with the choices they wanted for yeah. you. Uh, missing a loved one, whether it was because they chose to not be with you or maybe they passed away and you're somewhere and you don't feel the warmth of family that you're used to because family is so important mm -hmm. to, to Indians. So I, I, I imagine that that's like the, the heartbeat of this for everybody is I thought this was going to be about the quirkiness. Yeah. And to my surprise, I felt like, actually, this has got quite a bit of heart. Yeah, this is a lot yeah. more, it was a lot more um, dramatic uh, family feel than... I still like, I like, if all three of those were on, this is the one I would choose third of the three we've just talked about. No, I would choose, yeah. I would probably, I mean, outside of the length. It is really long. Even though those other ones, I think, are three hours, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, but this one's almost like Lagan. Yeah, one's... this is three and a half hours uh, total. Um, and I'm sure there's a bunch on the editing room floor as well. <laughs> Probably so. Um, the, like I said, uh, I don't know if we mentioned it, all the songs outside of that one, I really, really enjoyed I, I think we reacted to most of I them. I think we saw virtually it's, everyone. I, and I enjoyed them as much, if not more, in Sangma, the context. Sangma. Yeah, the fact that... Amitak Bakhtan just starts dancing. It's one of the, it's like, it's literally like a Hollywood musical. Yeah. Like there's song numbers that just start out of nowhere. Yes. Um, but they're big, they're fun. Um, and then. Uh, and in case you're wondering and didn't see, cause I mentioned this on a reaction, but uh, I, I had previously was in a bad headspace when I first saw the uh, You Are My Sonia song. Yeah. Went back and saw it again, was gonna post it on my channel, long story short, it was blocked, blah, blah, blah. So seeing it the third time, I had the same reaction I did the second time. Yeah. It was like most everything else in the in the thing. And also, I mean, was what was this in terms of, was this the thing that catapulted Rithik or am I forgetting another film as far as like everybody realizing, wow, this guy can really dance. Uh, oh, in terms of dancing? Yeah, oh, I his don't dancing know. aspect. I know he, he did a few films before this. Well, I don't know how much he danced oh. in them. Well, we reacted to, I think, his debut film, and he was, he was, it was a musical number in that one. There I think was, it was a I think it was number. directed by his father. Okay. Well, um, he just proved again what a, what a great dancer <laughs> he is. Yeah, he's, he's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Some of the score... <laughs> Uh, like the thunder, I, I, I absolutely <laughs> adored that. It was it was all extremely over the top, melodramatic, but like different than like Devdas melodramatic. It was like weird, quirky, so over, <laughs> over the, the top. top dramatic. Yeah, uh, as opposed to the soap opera yeah. style of yeah, Devdas. Yeah, it's the difference of we're doing this because we think it's really going to make a really dramatic point because it's not versus. We're gonna make this as big of a dramatic point as we can. I yeah. mean, this is the the heavens are thundering. Yeah. It's it worked. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then uh, there was one thing. Let me say one other thing, and I forgot what it was. Baby acting. No. no, he was good. About the three you would choose. No, I already no. said that. No. Codra. Oh no, the uh, yeah. yeah no uh, <laughs> the fact that they just inserted the Indian national anthem. <laughs> Oh, if you want to make if you want to make Indians feel, insert the national anthem and make white people stand up. To <laughs> like let's glad like, you brought that up. It just it was it was, I knew it was so incongruent. I didn't but, I didn't know it was gonna be the national anthem, but I was like, no, they're gonna do some Indian song, right? You know, I was like national anthem. I'm like, oh, and then the, they obviously all stood up. I can guarantee everybody in the theater stood up mm -hmm. immediately mm -hmm. when that happened. Um, and so I was like, that just adds to the Indianness of this film. Yes. The fact that they just inserted a national anthem song in the middle of it. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those that I, I, I'm glad we finally got to it because it's a huge part of Bollywood history. Yeah, it is. And now that like we can be in on some of the, the inside the inside jokes, scoops and, the and jokes and, and, and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm actually much more interested in Karina Kapoor 
now, uh, even though obviously this is not her crowning performance by any means, <laughs> I'm not saying that, but uh, I, I already cared for everybody else. And she well, was the one that, that wasn't on the level, not in, not in terms of acting, but in terms of my love for her. Mm. We had just hadn't seen, hadn't hadn't seen much enough of her. And that's the other thing about it being something in Bollywood history. I think it's also something that if you love any of these people, go down the list. Amitabh Bakchan, Jaya Bakchan, Shah Rukh Khan, Kajol, Rithik Roshan, Karina Kapoor, you, Karan Johar. This is part of the legacy of their resume that is kind of like, you need to know this film mm -hmm. if you care about these people. And if you don't, you kind of need to see that film. Yeah. It's like a quintessential hallmark watershed moment for a lot of them. So yeah. I'm, I'm really glad we saw yeah, it. So what should be the next... Shah Rukh Khan, Kajol, Big B. Uh, Shah Rukh, I want to see an SRK, uh, Ronnie McCurgy, where Ronnie's actually the love interest. I don't know if she's the love interest, but Veer Zara, and I, where's, know, where's, I know she's in that. Where's the one, I want the movie. So he's over SRK, Kajol. Okay, everyone. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to, we, had, we have seven of theirs to get to, right? Well, technically, they've been in 12, but seven that they're the leads in. Okay, I want them all. Yeah. But yeah, I, I know Veer Zara is high up there for a lot of people in terms of, a, it's, a, it's a big romantic film is okay. what it is. But I don't know if they end up together. So, cause I haven't seen that's, that's, that's I just want to see her as his love interest. Yeah. Rather than her having unrequited feelings for him. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know. Have we already seen one? Is there a love story with Ronnie McCurgie and Kajol? Get on it, Bollywood. Lesbian version of Brokeback Mountain. It would work. I was, I was trying You're to thinking of the title. <laughs> <laughs>